In this movie, we have been shown what kind of problems a couple has to face after turning 40 years of age. There are so many obstacles, be it sex life or mental life. At the beginning of the movie we see a couple. Husband's name is Pete and wife's name is Debbie. Today Pete has sex for a long time. When his wife asks how he rode a horse for two hours today, Pete says, I took Viagra today. Debbie gets angry after hearing this. She asks am I no longer a captive, can't you stand without medicines? Pete says this is not the case, but as age increases such problems also increase. The relationship between Pete and Debbie is like that of a dog and a cat. They fight at least 23 times out of 24 hours. They do not fight only for one hour out of 24 hours because they have to have facts in that one hour. One day, Debbie goes to her shop, where two girls named Desi and Jody work. Debbie discovers that $12,000 from her shop is missing. Then she asks Jody about this. Jody says that this work must be done by Desi Unni, but Debbie doesn't believe Jody's words because Desi was a good girl. She always worked honestly and loyally in the shop. Pete has a music shop where he sells old albums, but Pete's business is not doing well. But as YG to not being able to pay the ENI of the bank, he is forced to sell his beloved house. But he doesn't think it right to tell his wife about this. In the evening, Debbie and Pete check the CCV footage of the shop to find out who has committed the theft. Then they see in a CCV footage that Desi is getting intimate with a customer. And seeing this, Debbie does not get angry at all, because it was because of Desi that her shop had the highest profit. These days, Pete and Debbie were very upset with their personal and professional life. So they go to a resort, and there, after taking some drugs, they have sex five times in an hour. The next day at a shock, Jody tells Debbie that Desi has bought a lot of expensive clothes and a car, so perhaps Desi might have stolen $12,000 from the shop. Knowing this, Debbie also starts doubting Desi a little. That's where she asks Daisy about this. Desi says that she has designed these clothes herself, and she has bought the car because she is a prostitute. Therefore, he gets a lot of profit from that business also. Now when Desi is changing her clothes, Debbie notices both of Daisy's watermelons. Seeing such big and magnificent watermelons, Debbie thinks that maybe they are fake, but Desi says that it is absolutely real. People have made it so dead by mashing it up. One day, Debbie finds out that she is pregnant, Debbie gets very nervous after hearing this, because she did not want a child at this age. Debbie asks Pete if he approves of a third child. Pete says that even a second child was not acceptable to me, so I don't want a third child at all. Hearing this, Debbie does not tell Pete the news of her pregnancy. The next day, when Debbie is in the shop, Jody comes to her and apologizes, saying that it was she who stole the money because she is struggling with drug addiction. Hearing this, Debbie throws Jody out of her shop. The next day, Pete and Debbie have a big fight, so the next day they make some rules, they both decide that they will not fight over small things. A few years later, Pete's birthday comes and a lot of people come to the party. Just then Debbie is smoking, which her daughter sees, and both mother and daughter start arguing. Then Debbie's doctor friend tells her that she should not smoke cigarettes during pregnancy, and this is heard by Pete as well as his entire family and other people. In such a situation, Pete gets angry and leaves the house on a bicycle. Debbie also sets out to find Pete. Then Pete meets with an accident. Just then, Debbie reaches there and gets him admitted to the hospital. In the hospital, both of them try to resolve whatever grievances there are between them. Pete says unhappy to have a fair child, but I was angry because you didn't tell me earlier. And now slowly their life starts improving. The sex life of both also becomes very good. And at the end of the movie, both of them swear that they will give birth to 25 children.